This is good stuff, everybody. I mean, they really, really love it. And I like the actual small size of the pellets. There you go, there you go. Look at that, guys. Can you look at this? He is just beautiful. Let's go see Petra. Hey, buddy. Oh my goodness, I love you. They're eating. These two. Oh, that's a big, big black racer. Look at a big black racer. Hey, what's going on everybody? Ken in here and uh, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling so good that I wanted two camera angles. Hey, I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm looking a little nerdy, but whatever. We're gonna get you guys a uh, fun feeding video. Haven't done one of these in a little while where I just go through everything, talk about the animals, show you what I've been doing. I've been busy this morning. As you can see, I'm already filthy and uh, I kind of like it. I was up early, had a good day riding my bike yesterday. So I'm feeling jazzed, man. And I really just want to uh, share with you everything I got going on. So we're gonna start feeding. We're gonna get Guapo and Lola and the Chinese box turtles fed. We're gonna feed all the herbivores today and omnivores. We're not really gonna do anything with the uh, monitors, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff stacked up. I'm doing portion control with our uh, Cuban iguanas right now. We don't want them getting too uh, hefty now, do we? So let's go ahead and get this going. Oh yeah, oh, I love it. Cool, man, let's go. I know there were some fire ants down there, which was, um, which are probably gonna wind up on my hand. So that'll stink. But uh, there they are, Guapo and Lola, ready for action. These two are comical and I love them dearly. I've had them so long, you guys know that if you watch the channel for any length of time, you know that these are two lizards that I've had since, how long? Does anyone know? Anyone out there? Yeah, I've had these lizards since August of 2004. Let's get them their little portions here. Come here. Come here. Hey, 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 you are a little rascal. Come here. There you go. Look at get you up. See, so we want them to have their own food. This way, they don't fight each other because they can sometimes be a little cantankerous with each other. But we're going to put the uh, shrimp. We got canned river shrimp from Flukers and they're canned grasshoppers as well and you can see the little maniacs starting to come out now they'll eat the turtle um they'll eat the uh tortoise food this is actually small tortoise diet um that they're eating as well as the crafted cuisine uh turtle diet or tortoise diet and mixed in is also the garden blend from flukers this is good stuff everybody i mean they really really love it and i like the actual small size of the pellets uh because when i mix it in with this crafted cuisine um it just mixes nice and gets soft from the juices on the crafted cuisine so i really really like this product and i, I can't thank fluker enough for helping me out this year with it um what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead over here and I'm gonna show you Leon, our banana pectinata. There he is, sunbathed. Oh, you're tough. Ever since I put him out here, he is now the toughest lizard on earth. Like he's like, yo, what are you doing? Leave me be, man. But I do have a cricket. I wonder if he'll, it's actually a grasshopper. I wonder if he'll nibble on this grasshopper here. Come on, bub, come on, there you go, there you go. Look at that, guys. So eating a nice grasshopper. These guys are omnivores which is why I mentioned that earlier at the top of the video and you can see him just chowing down. Just a cool little lizard. They don't get much bigger than that. Um, I love this guy, got him from my friend Ty Park. Let's see if he'll eat another one out of our hands. So he's not, he's not so bad. There you go, good boy. So he's calmed down a bit and uh, I love that he's out in this enclosure. He's got a lot of space to roam and um, I find this is just the way to do it. I love it. Um, to be honest, just less work for me. And he's a spiny tail iguana, you see this? So these guys are from Central America. And um, they are, well, Central and North America when you consider uh, they're in parts of Mexico, if some of you want to go ahead and correct me, uh, that Mexico is actually part of North America. Uh, so there you go. Know your tectonic plates, everybody. But um, anyhow, he's a cool lizard, man. He's really cool. Let's give him another grasshopper, man. That's what's cool about these canned grasshoppers is I don't have to worry about keeping them alive and fresh. So here they are. There you go, bub. Nice job, nice job. Spending time with our banana pectinata. And usually these guys get a more yellowy color, which is why they call them the banana pectinata. It's kind of a color morph, but they are centinosaur, pectinata, spiny tail iguana, and there are many different um, species and subspecies of spiny tails all throughout 
uh, Mexico and Central America. Really, really cool lizards. And they're actually established also here in Florida in some spots. So we got the rest of his food is down here. Maybe he'll notice it. Hey, look, look, look at my fingers. You see? All right, anyway, let's go back and see how our kids are doing over here. Yeah, everyone seems to be doing just well, just fine and dandy when it comes to checking out the crickets. These box turtles absolutely just love this food. And I love the ease in which I can prepare it. I just open the cans and uh, dump them on a plate and it is time to eat. You know what I mean? I love how they look, look at how he uses his little, his little feet. I think that's so cute. They use their feet, they rip up the uh, insects and shrimp into smaller pieces. And what do you know? They just go for it. And uh, they also are omnivores because they're eating with these Cuban iguanas. And they love the diets um, that Fluker provides. So guys, you know, if you got box turtles, you want a varied diet. You want to make sure you've got some of this really good protein. And you also want to make sure that you, again, have a well-rounded diet for these little box turtles. And that goes for North American box turtles as well. These, of course, are the core ambulances. What are you going to do? Are you going to actually go for it, sister? Let's see what she does. That's a big drop. No problem. <laughs> she didn't even wait. I like her. Uh, but Guapo and Lola doing well. And um, this is just a nice way that I can kind of measure out the food. I know in these small fluker plates, or bowls rather, um, that they are getting a good amount of food and they'll finish it all and this way I don't have waste uh, Which is nice now every once in a while the Cuban iguanas might nibble on an insect if they want the protein It's there for them, but um, I don't really sweat it. I allow them to make that decision um, I don't actually worry about making you know feeding them uh, Intentionally here. Let me get that anyway a little pine needle uh, so They've been doing good, man. I'd say things have been going well with these guys for the last 17 years, coming in August. So I'm very happy. And this species can live about 30, 40, even 50 years, guys. So really long-lived species of lizard. And um, there you have it. All right, man. Are you okay? Do you need a napkin? You all right? Yeah, I think she's okay. All right, let's get moving. We're gonna keep it on, keep it on. As you can see, I've done a lot of work. We're filling things back up right now for Slinky. So I had a good idea, or at least I think it's a good idea. Um, as you guys know, Slinky is gonna be moving out to his new home uh, once I get that um, built up. And in fact, I actually have 525 cinder blocks being delivered here today so, uh, so I can finish it. And we can run over there and I'll show you what's going on next. But um, right now we're filling this up, but once Slinky moves out, I'm gonna kind of blow a hole in the middle of this and I'm gonna fill it up with gravel and dirt and we're gonna kind of make a plateau, if you will, so that I'm thinking the smartest thing for me to do is to take Guapo and Lola, move them here, and then I'm gonna take my two rhino iguanas and move them there, or I might leave them there and take Crazy Sophia and Crazy Leo, who are over there, uh, and we'll see them in a little bit and move them into this area. So I think that would be good because I'm hoping that just the move from there to here would stimulate those two lizards to breed, Guapo and Lola. They haven't bred in a long time. And I actually did get babies from them before. Uh, no video is complete without allowing the man, the myth, the legend, Slinky. Come on out, Slinks. Come here, bub. Yeah, come on, say hello to everyone. Come on, they want to see you, man. Where are you at, bro? Where are you at? Come on, buddy. It's all for you, Slinky. It really is. I love this lizard, man. And as you can see, shedding, growing, getting bigger, wiser, and uh, more robust. Come on out, dude. Don't be shy. He's like, where's my food, dude? Why are you going to be like that to me? What's going on? Come on, bub. Come here. Oh, man. Guys, can you look at this? He is just beautiful. I can't wait to get him out into this new enclosure. We're gonna be working on it all week. I'll probably do a video update on it. And um, man, it's gonna be awesome. Oh God, I love him. Who doesn't love Slinky? I guess he's a little shy today, but we'll let him do his thing. All right, Slink, just come out when you're ready, bud. Maybe he'll be here when we float back around this way. So that's clean, life is good. Let's shut this up a little bit. All right, awesomeness, man. Just a great day. It's a great day. Beginning of the week, getting things done. Okay, next up for my next trick, let's go ahead and get the blue iguanas who recently have been put into here. Let's get them dialed, get them a little food. Actually, we're gonna use paper plates for him and her. So I've got some paper plates right here 
and we just keep it simple people we just keep it simple just go ahead like this oh that's three we only need two all right let's see and i'm just gonna squeeze a little of this just a little bit a little goes a long way we don't want to overfeed our animals i don't like to do that i like these guys to have healthy weight and uh that seems to work nicely she's still in her cork bark and he is hanging out right here these guys are still a little bit come on bub still a little bit shy but they're only in here temporarily and then i'm going to move them out into that enclosure right there my friend josh is coming to get his croc monitor so we'll be uh all set to go all right everyone let's keep moving we're gonna now feed our rhino iguanas all right we're gonna do this all right yeah i love this man we're gonna get a good amount of food in here because both of these guys are gonna share their food okay we're gonna do it in a bowl again this allows me the bowls are great because they allow me to really tell just how much food i am giving my critters here are the cherry heads gotta spray out their water a little algae grew in there not the end of the world though all right doing it we're getting it done people i like this hands-free action because I need these plates for the tortoises. So where is, hey, come on. I got some food for you, brother. There he is, right over there. Come on there. What are you doing, man? Let's go see him. Let's go see Petro. Come here, Petro. Hey, buddy. There you are. Oh, he's nice and dark because he hasn't hit the sunlight yet. Oh my goodness, I love you. I love you, man. Such a cool lizard so beautiful again these guys came from my friends uh dave morningstar at starborn reptiles and who's in here young lady where are you she's in there somewhere all right let's keep moving we got to get done before we actually have our delivery All right, next up, some tortoises got to eat. I'll tell you what, I'll leave this here. We'll go get the bucket and another plate. We'll load two plates up. Then we'll go ahead and get our red foot fed and the rest of the tortoises. So cool. We also have to feed our buddies over here, the leprechauns. I moved the leprechauns out of the back because it's just uh with all the construction i have going on i don't want them to escape or to get smushed oh i already had a plate that i forgot about in there all right hey guys look at this coming right over coming over to see what food we've got for them today all right come on over there young lady all these are females Come on. They love this stuff. Come on. Excellent. Come on, guys. Yep, so they're going to get right to it. Here, I'll move it this way so this one over here can see as well. Good stuff. See that? And what's great is it's now been rehydrated, so there's moisture in it. They really love that crafted cuisine. So cool. So what will happen is eventually everyone's going to come, come over and get something. All right, Cherry Head's up next. I might want to check that message. Here we are. All right, guys.
this is so fun. Hey, I want you to walk a little further, buddy. Come on, come on over here. We'll put it a little bit closer since everyone is basically inside. They're basically inside. You can see the excitement as they start to pour on out. No worries. These guys just can smell like you wouldn't believe. Tortoises have a great sense of smell and they use it to their advantage to find food, as you can imagine. So I love that. It's kind of relaxing doing this. I love this because I get to spend time with all the critters and make sure that they're healthy, behaving normally. And, um, hey, what are you passing that up for? Excuse me, miss, what are you doing? She just passed up all that food. Come here, young lady. How's that? Put your face down. Sometimes they get so fixated on something, they forget, um, they forget what it is. There we go. Nice. All right, so everyone's doing good here. I'm sure there's gonna be some more coming out of there in a moment, but we've gotta get our beauties over here fed, and that is the elongated tortoises. So let's go grab a couple plates. The reason I'm using plates, guys, is because the tortoise food is moist. I don't wanna just throw it on the ground because it's gonna collect uh, sand and stuff, and that's not gonna be good if the animals wind up ingesting it. So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna use we're gonna keep these two for the radiateds. We're gonna use these two over here for our guys, the elongated tortoises. Oh look, they both found their food, good. And there's one more floating around in there and I'm sure she'll find the food as well. All right, like I said, we're gonna feed the radiateds and we're gonna feed the elongateds. Just do that. They're still pouring out of there. Awesome. Give them a healthy portion. Nice healthy portions here. All right, good. Well, I know these guys are happy. They're eating, so let's keep going. Let's get the red foots and then we'll come back, get our radiated galops and then sulcatus. But I cannot forget to feed Crazy Leo and Crazy Sophia. You'll see why they're called Crazy Leo and Crazy Sophia in a moment. All right, right now we're empty here. We um, found new homes for the snow leopards. And over here is where we keep the red foots. So I'll place you guys here, hop along on my head and let's get this done. All right. I wanted to make sure I get these guys fed because obviously they're going to require a lot of food. So if I have to mix up another batch, I can do that quickly. Everyone else isn't going to get as much as the red foots. I just shake it out. They put some sand in these. No big deal. Wait a minute. All right. Forget. Okay, oh no, flip it, buddy. How'd you flip over, my man? Let me help you, because that's what I'm here for. Ready, careful with your legs, boop, right down. No worries. All right, they're gonna find their food. You guys have seen them eat millions of times. Let's keep it moving, shall we? Oh, you're gonna be late to the party. Let's go. Look at that log rotted out. Looks good though, I love it. Hey, another snake, what up? Little black snake. <laughs> Good thing Slinky's not out. All right, here's Crazy Leo and Crazy Sophia. There she is. Oh, you see, she's super excited. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. There we go. Lots of food, lots of food for you. Oh Lord, help me. You guys are getting the finger bite cam. Here we go. You're crazy. Such a lunatic. She is, oh, no, 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 get out of here. What are you doing? The food's over there. Well, look at her, she's nuts. There you go, see? There's the food. There's the food. Eat the food, not me. Oh, here comes her boyfriend. There they go. No, these two, whoa, oh, Jesus, God, I, I, good Lord, oh God, you're nuts. Don't worry, I didn't squish her head. I didn't squish it bad. I just had, can't keep her, can't let her out, can we? Don't worry, she wasn't squished, as you can see. She's nuts, she wants you guys. Ah! Such a lunatic lizard, man. Okay, hey, let's go feed the rest of our animals. Pond's doing well, we got a plumeria coming out. Uh, fertilized all of the good um, lilies. The fish are doing well. It is awesome out, man, it is awesome. Hey, you know what, now's a good time to stop in and see Bobby Rubino. I've got him outside in his convalescence area. There he is, hey Bobby. Let's see, man. We uh, recently had blood drawn from him because I need to figure out what the heck is up with this guy. Still alive, whoa, he's more, he's way more Bobby Rubino-ish, isn't he? Good boy, good boy. Oh, I like this. This is new, guys. He's hissing more. He's getting angry at me. My hands are covered with the food. Um, just a cool lizard. So here's hoping that he's gonna make it. Uh, he still acts a little weird, but I gotta be honest, he is perking up and we like that. Don't we, people? Can you imagine if I pull this off with this lizard? So hopefully the blood test will tell me what's really wrong with him. But I would say this lizard is getting better. So it's just a matter of keeping up with him. He's eating on his own again. I have been noticing poops. And he look, hey, look at that. I think we're gonna get a happy lizard here, man. I'm excited about that. So hopefully Bobby Rubino pulls it. I'm really glad I didn't give up on him. Um, but. We'll see, you know, it's, it's really crazy because he's been sick for so long, man. And um, I just hope that it's a full recovery. I don't want him to have any issues as he gets older. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, let's get these plates. Hey, look at that. Everyone's finding their food. Like I told you, these guys have good sniffers. So there are all the cherry heads and the elongateds are on their way over. You see that? Great noses these guys have. So, loving this. So good, their noses are so good, I'll bet you some of the radiateds will sometimes come to this area because they know the food is out. Well, here's a radiated. We put a plate down here and we're gonna put a plate at the other side. I have eight of these. Here we go. And now, beautiful, beautiful. Come on guys, wake up. Again, more radiated. We're gonna put the rest of the food down here. Just do this. That's it, that's it. We need just a little bit more for our galops and aldabra, and then we're gonna head on over to the sulcatus behind me. Okay, luckily for me, I have some mixed up. How do you like it? I was thinking ahead. Okay, so those guys are gonna sniff it out. They're beauties, come on guys. So four over here, and there were four over there. So four and four makes eight. They can eat separate and eat off the plate. Da -da -bum -bum. I like to rhyme sometimes when I lose my mind. I won't rap, don't worry kids. Uh, dad jokes aplenty. Okay, look at this. We've got a nice clean water dish that Nostradamus was enjoying. You don't poop in it yet now, please. Leave it for a couple of days at least. And then we've got our friend Socks. And 
we're just gonna grab a couple of handfuls. Really don't need to feed these guys a lot because what do we know about this prepared foods? Loaded with nutrients, loaded. Get another plate, I like these plates by the way. These are actually horse salt lick bowls, but they have holes in them. So when it rains, they don't fill up with water and uh, get, you know, algae and collect uh, mosquitoes and things like that. Okay, now there was another plate. Look at this. Look at that amazing animal. Is that cool? Just a powerful critter. And then Darwin, she's trying to climb that mountain over there. Good girl, use those hind legs. I wanna see you get strong. So look at that. So amazing. Come on, Nas. Look at Socrates. Come get it, buddy. Hey guys, I'm gonna go find the other plate. You guys chill here and watch this mobile action. I'll be right back. Oh wait, let me grab this because if they wind up knocking this down, we're done. All right, where is the other plate? What in the heck? Oh look guys, a big black racer, a big black racer. Big one, big black racer. Look at that big black racer. Oh my God, look at that guy go. Oh God, ow, that hurt, ow, God. Oh man, I almost got him. Owie, that hurt. Okay, two black racers on this tour. How awesome is that? Okay, well, I'm just gonna use this plate so that we don't wind up uh, wasting valuable time. Huh. Let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. All right. That's three plates. Get to it, kids. See, they get fixated on me and they don't realize that the food is actually right here. Come on, right down there, go. Go down, go down, go down. Come, please, this, that's not it. It's down there, down there. Good, good. You see, they're starting to understand pointing, which is not true. I, I lied. I don't think they're understanding that. Um, but Socrates is very happy as is Nostradamus. Beautiful animals growing nicely and then bringing up the rear is our deer. She's right here. Come on, girl. That's Darwin. Come here. Down, 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 down. Come on, look down, look down, look at my hand. Follow my hand, follow my hand. Look at all this good stuff. Look at all this good stuff right here. Look, come on. No, no, there it is, there it is, come on. Don't, don't. Bite my hand, bite the food. Good, there you go. Come on. Now, perfect. And they'll use their tongue, guys. They can use their tongue kind of like a chameleon. They'll stick up some of the, uh, some of the pellets will stick on their little tongues and they'll go ahead and get it all up. Trust me, nothing goes to waste. Yes, yes. <laughs> Awesome. All right, let's go finish this video, shall we? Let's get those sulcatas fed. They're fairly easy. I just gotta put this out in a row, by the way. See this? I told you about their noses. They've got good noses. Where are you coming? You gotta go the other way. So nuts. Oh man, I really rung my bell hitting that tree when I was going after that, that snake. It was not pleasant, but that's pleasant. Okay. Hi truck, love that truck. Shout out to Tacoma Beast, you guys rule. Uh, follow them if you're into oh, overlanding and Toyota Tacomas on YouTube, man, Tacoma Beast. Okay, here we are, the final push. The final group of animals that need to get their feed on. We have fed everybody that needs feeding. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys up right here, get you as they say in the biz, a wide shot. But uh, what I'm more concerned about is just getting my animals fed. And this is so easy. All right. Oh, come on, they have the same problem. They fixate on the red bucket. All right, there you go, everyone. So happy. These tortoises are gonna be thrilled. Here they all come. 
We've got eight nowadays, and I've had these guys a long time as well. Beautiful, beautiful tortoises, the sulcata tortoise. There's one hiding out in the, in the palmetto thicket. There you have it, everybody. A nice video, getting things ready. Let me tell you what's going on. We're gonna get to work on that enclosure. I'll have an update for you this week on Slinky's enclosure. Um, we're gonna go visit Chandler this week as well and uh, check out his new crib. And who knows what other things may occur. Something's always happening here. Uh, in the meantime, I want you guys to enjoy the rest of this video watching these guys eat. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. What do you feed your animals? How do you do it? How long does it take you? This video is somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 minutes. Uh, it took me about that long to get everything prepared and ready. So uh, I don't know. Maybe you take longer, maybe less. I don't know, but I had a good time. All right, everyone, we'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. You guys rule. Take care.